Well, now, he's really learning this circuit fast. These guys have all raced here several times. Scott probably, apart from Gonholm, the least experienced rally crosser in the field. Julian Godfrey, less experienced in supercars than Andy Scott. But he's done a lot more rally cross. And Gronholm, the visitor! How is he going to hang on to that? Stump driving his way around the tight right-hander at the top of the hill. That is unbelievable by Marcus Gronholm. And he just gets it back on the four wheels to hold on to the lead and takes the win from Scott and Godfrey. That is just remarkable. Really quick hug in the inside there, trying to be as smooth as we can. For the bit at the bottom. Life there through the bump, and to be honest, I don't know how we hold that. Slow in here and fast out. You okay after that? Yeah, we're great. <laughs> how are you doing? Excuse my French, sorry, boys. Let's go back and show you exactly what happened. Yeah, he's loose. Yeah, you get up off a of turn four, a lot of times you crawl, push out to the wall, you go give. Ooh, oh, wow, my goodness. Man, tell you what, Travis Pastrana, would, time. Travis Pastrana would have been proud of that in one of his jumps. And look how well the car held up. Yeah, this is the angle that really shows it. Yeah, you can see right here where it hits, where you have the pavement for that little short track they have here on the front straightaway. And you can see right there yeah. when yep. it came down in. You can see right there it did bend the whole front section of that sh uh, the bodywork. Now we see the damaged Aston Martin, and this is Stefan Mucker. This is the well, this is his onboard shot. He's so let's see what happens. Booker gets the car back into gear, throws the throttle, angry, 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 sees the Nissan, drives very close to the side of the Nissan, but misjudges it, tangles with the right-hand side, finds himself in all kinds of trouble, virtually riding off the DB9 Aston Martin. Well, at the very best here, he's only got one hand on the steering wheel, John. No, Richard Westbrook nearly got a broken wrist. The kick back through the steering when that comp when that contact took place, through the whiplash in the steering, that's very easy to damage your wrist. This has got a clutch issue. Uh, and as you guys can see, he's still having a difficult time getting the SunTrust machine out of pit lane here. And look at this, car's coming on pit lane right behind him. He's got the pit lane blocked and pit out. Watch out, boys. That crew member needs to get Watch out, out of the way. Boys. And he gets clipped. Well, that's just being asleep yeah, at the wheel there. You've got to be conscious you're in a live pit lane. Absolutely. The rain that we may have, he might be able to get in the pit box first and get out ahead. Good point. Oh, that's a helicopter shot, isn't it? Holy smoly. I thought he was going to land. Yeah, the left oh, one yeah. is definitely down. down. Did something break? No, I think it broke after he hit after the wall. After he hit something. Yeah, yeah. you see the... You lift. know who's loving this? The TRG guy. Oh, the TRG guy. This, this gives them an opportunity. That's a wheel spacer. Yeah, the wheel's gone. Now, the question is... That explains is, why it's down. Yeah, I, I'm thinking maybe he didn't hit anything. Maybe it just came off and was not on tight. What is this? It's Blink Mullen. Is he going back for the wheel? He is. He's picked up the wheel. No, I want to see him pick up the car and put I it on. I was going to say, how does he expect to put it on? But Blink Mullen has brought the left front wheel and tire back to the 54. Dude, Frank. there's no jack in that thing. He's going <laughs> to put it in the passenger side because That's, he knows he... You know he, what? That he knows he needs that wheel and tire up when they pull him in. He's going to actually drive it back into the paddock now. He needs that wheel and tire on the car.
and, and look at the tires at, are marked, so he has to bring it back. He's going to get his belts back on. Now that is heads up. Keen, he's a fast starter too with Patrick Simon in the 95 car. Then it's the GTs started by Manuel Rodriguez uh, and Jimmy Bruni. Here we come, the yellow flag still there. Watch for the red lights going out and we go to green and we're racing. Fantastic oh. start from the second row, but he can't overtake before the, the line and he remembers that that is Just the case. Time. Matthias Beck, and there's also a shunt in the background. It's the GTV oh. field that's been hit. I can see one of oh. the Farnbacher cars there. Yeah. No, the Feldenmayer car there. Farn Feldenmayer on straight being pushed and pushed and pushed by what looked like the Pro Speed car behind. Oh, and what's happened is that the, uh, the the Pierce cars come straight back out again, has it? In front of the field, or did it not pull off? How did it beat the field down through the pit lane, but it's already at the head of the field? Now, that's quite that's extraordinary. Bizarre. Quite bizarre. Not maybe that's clearly not a start, but we can okay, see. So that. that's the 77 car. That's the that's the one that Farnbacher that uh, Feldmayer were counting on for. Big oh, oh, that dear, is a dear. very messy. messy start indeed. Now we certainly saw the lights go to green. So ah, the pace car hasn't got off the track. The pace car's not off the track, and they've showed the green light. Good that grief. is absolutely disastrous. Absolutely disastrous. The pace car. I didn't see. The fact that the field had pulled a uh, drop behind the Audi pace car, and what we had there. Under the 24 being pushed by Carl Edwards in the 99. It's like they were trying to time as we just had the lights go out Whoa. on the back straightaway. Yeah, the back stretch and turn two wow. fall to darkness. The track, however, is still green. But get, guess what? Now we're under Jeff caution. Jeff Gordon and Carl Edwards have not slowed down. <sighs> Yellow is out for the light. From turn three, all the way around to the entrance of turn one is still fully bathed in light. But turn two looks to be on emergency power, and the backstretch is all... doing a great job and I think that Jock's like wow I'm not going to have him cleared as easy as before Rusty I think you're right he locked up the rear brakes then when he got in that grass he lost the steering probably should have considered stopping and exiting turn two in hindsight and then here's the second incident oh, oh he got help from Ambrose yeah Ambrose <laughs> is mad right now he's yeah. mad at the 22 car he's taking it out on him yeah you can bet that was uh, retaliation Marcos Ambrose went through a lot to get here. He's thinking right now it was all worth it. Takes the corner nice and smooth this time. Comes down the long front straightaway. Brian and, Scott. Oh, Brian Scott gets turned. Awesome job, Marcus Ambrose. Awesome job, son. Nice job. And Marcus Ambrose gets the win. And off they went. Karen Shandog, native Indian, will not race this weekend, but he did practice for Team Lotus this morning. A practice interrupted by a brief red flag for some poor dog that wandered onto the...
Lord, I want to thank you for my smoking hot wife tonight, Lisa. My two children, Eli and Emma, or as we like to call them, the little E's. Lord, I pray you bless the drivers and use them tonight. May they put on a performance worthy of this great track. In Jesus' name, boogity, 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 amen.